Hi friends, welcome back to Cubicle Talks with Avik. Hope all of you are absolutely doing great. And this is the channel where you will find all your answers to your work related problems. So don't skip the video and stay tuned. Today's topic is really, really unique and I have not found too many videos on this particular topic of don't take your boss for granted. It can ruin your career. Yes, guys not many of the people talks about good bosses i have found many videos on toxic bosses even i have made videos on toxic bosses and i thought it would be unfair if i don't cover the topic about good bosses because in the market there are good bosses as well like you have toxic bosses there are many good bosses i understand it is very rare to find but some per amount of good bosses are still there in the corporate industry so let's not skip this video let's see the full video and i'll cover the most important three four points which you can follow in your day-to-day -day work life the first and foremost point is the lack of recognition have you ever given a thought about how your boss is working seamlessly keeping the entire team motivated and yet getting a grilling session from his boss he's also a human being so he also requires some amount of motivation and those small gesture of thank you from the team as well without this your boss cannot survive and i'm mainly talking about the non-toxic bosses whose mindset is to think like you and he has that quality of putting himself in the team's shoe and thinking about various factors. So it is really important for the team to recognize and motivate your manager as well. Remember one thing, if you don't motivate or if you don't recognize him with small thank yous he is not asking for the reward and recognition nothing he what all he wants is a small gesture of thank you for the team from the team rather so if that factor is missing from his life he will be demotivated and apparently a study reveals that all the toxic bosses were good bosses at some point of time okay the team the people the leaders above him made him a toxic one so this is a very important point that the team should recognize the manager or the boss by small gestures of thank yous and those motivational talks as well because always remember your boss is also a human being so i'm repeating this yes your boss is not a machine but a human being i have seen so many cases of a demotivated boss where the team takes him or her for granted and sorry i am using the word him mostly but my uh, objective of this making this entire video is gender 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 neutral so uh, my bad excuse me and apologies if i'm using him often okay so yes coming back to the, to the point so what happens the team takes the boss for granted the team takes gr for granted in terms of his goodness team ko lagta hai ki bhai jitna bhi kuch usko baat nahi sunne ke agar nahi bhi sunoge to koi dikkat wali baat nahi hai because he is a good boss and he is not harmful so the mindset of the entire team is to take him for granted or her for granted so that's the problem but there is a limit for everything and after a certain point of time the boss gets that feedback from his superior or her superior that guy you know listen uh, your team is taking you for granted so you better be a bad police or a, a, a kind of a strong leader from that point of time in order to save his job or in order to save his image in front of his superiors 
he becomes really really strong and that's the point the entire team considers or you know makes that statement that their boss have become a toxic next point but very very important point ignoring those soft warnings given by your boss if i talk about a toxic boss what they do is they you know give a very strong warning along with a penalty often to the team but when it comes to a good boss or a non-toxic boss he or she does not believe in penalizing the team and he or she only believe, believes in giving the instruction and the result that's all what happens here the team often ignore this sort of soft warnings and they continue to do whatever they want to do in very simple words the team starts ignoring those soft warnings given by a boss as a boss it is their duty and responsibility to make sure that the things are happening very seamlessly so that they are not answerable to their leaders and to their bosses what will happen your manager who is a non toxic one or a manager who is a good manager three four times he will give you a warning and after fourth time he will turn into a toxic one because in hindi there is a word called seedhi ungli se ghee nahi nikalna to ungli teda karna hota hai he will apply the same thing that it's not working in terms of being a good police so i need to be a bad police i need to be very strong and at this point of time triggers him to be a toxic boss and the team what they do the team starts gossiping about that boss or the team starts uh, you know considering that boss as a toxic one because nobody will see that you know those initial warnings was given by by the by the manager everybody will talk about the toxicity boss is also human if certain task is not being done according to his expectation or her expectation of course he has to be strong so a very simple solution to it never ever ignore the soft warnings given by your boss i would suggest don't give him a room to give you a feedback in terms of something is not happening or something needs to be done in some other way at the first warning only please please do that particular task properly and make sure he or she is perfectly all right with the task being done in a seamless manner otherwise you know you can't blame that you know your manager has become toxic because you are the one who's made him toxic so that's a very important point very common point which which is occurring nowadays and nobody is talking about it for example if you are stressed you expect your manager to come to you or your boss to come to you and ask you why you're stressed if you need, if you need any help same thing same thing applies for your boss as well if you see your boss is under tremendous stress or his body language is stressful enough please ensure you go reach out to him and offer whatever help you want they they ask for at least ask them if he needs your help or she needs your help this is again a good good gesture because the boss will then consider his entire team as not only a receiver but a give giver as well that if i am also stressed the team is there to help me otherwise one sided you know one sided story cannot serve is not sustainable at all it's just like your love story one sided love story is not successful same thing one sided expectation is not at all sustainable and successful if you want your boss to support you you need to also ensure that you support your boss in terms of crisis when he is also under stress most of the times the boss will say no i'll just manage because some work there are some certain tasks which cannot be done by the team but it needs to be done by the manager or the boss because of the level of understanding and the level of analytics and so on and so forth but at least at as a good gesture please offer your help to the boss this is really really important 
the next very important point just because your manager or your boss is a good boss don't take advantage of his goodness and his well behavior because the day your boss or your manager turns into a toxic manager he or she will ensure you know your life is not that easy in that organization so it is very really important to take care of this point don't gossip behind your good boss i have seen in many organization wherein the manager is really really good and supports the team and does everything what which what what whatever is possible for the team but still there are team members who does gossip behind that boss the team often bitches about the boss talks behind the boss in terms of he is not competent enough how weak he is compared to the other bosses and you know usko to baat karna aata hi nahi hai usko to kuch kaha aata hi nahi hai wo matlab haste rehta hai team ke sath baat karte rehta hai yeah this is really really wrong again i'm saying the moment your boss turns into a toxic boss he or she will ensure your life becomes hell in that company so please be very careful if you are talking behind your good boss because again if someone from the team goes and tells this to the boss your image will go for a toss forever and whatever rewards and recognition you deserve it will go for a toss again you will be blacklisted by your good boss because the boss will think whatever i am doing in my best possible way that person is not caring enough and he is not respecting so why should i even be bothered so i'll better you know get rid of the team member this is really really important and happens very often nowadays okay don't talk about your boss to the other manager okay for example if there are two bosses one is working in your department and he is your direct manager and you have good rap up with another boss from another department don't talk about your boss in front of that manager outside manager because you never know they might be friends outside again the same theory happens if she he if he or she gets to know you will be gone for a talk if you are in a i would say in a debate mode with the boss in terms of anything maybe it's for your appraisal okay that you have not got your deserved uh, recognition and reward as per your good work don't get into a direct personal confrontation with the boss that you are victimizing me or you know you are doing partiality remember if he or she starts doing partiality you will be nowhere and i am talking about the good bosses whom i have seen reaching out to the senior leadership managers saying that you know i am so much impartial towards the team and i treat everybody equally as per their merit and their talent but some team members are there for whom i am doing my best in terms of you know giving the, them the the success giving them the opportunity to grow but still they think that i am doing partiality and in the one to one i get to hear this often from my team members that i am partial the day will come when your manager will become really really partial and the day will not be far away when you see that the other team members who's there in the team overpasses you and grows because they and un really understood that what the boss wants what is the boss's expectation out of the team and why certain things could not be done by the manager see everything is not in the hand of the manager okay if if there is a, a team of 10 team uh, full time employees in a team and all of them are doing great you cannot promote all of them okay it depends on the budget it depends on the headcount it depends on numerous factors based on 
the factor a person gets promoted so it does not mean the manager is partial towards couple of people and the manager is not partial towards others this is really really wrong concept if you have a have a non toxic or a good boss i would say the job of a manager very honestly is a thankless job people management is the most thankless job in the world because the manager cannot make everyone happy at the same time but everyone at the same time expects the manager to treat them equally irrespective of their merit their talent their discipline or their hard work so just to summarize if you expect your boss to respect you you need to do the same thing if you expect your boss to motivate you you need to also do the same thing if you want your boss to give you the full credit of your work you need to give your 100% if you need your boss to be non toxic boss you need to be also a non toxic team member it's a very simple give and take policy without this a manager cannot survive or a team member cannot survive so the ultimate motive for everyone working in organization is to work together and be united together so hope you have liked this video and if you have liked this video please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and colleagues and i'll see you with a brand new video very soon till then take care